So while we wait for the uh, for the post and the rack for the solar panels, uh, I'm going to start working on our battery bank uh, box. Let me show you what we're doing. So I am building two by six uh, frame for the base. Uh, the batteries we have are six volt, 445 amp hour rolls batteries, and we have eight of them. So I want to make sure that we have a base that is going to uh, withstand the, I think it's about like 800 and almost 900 pounds uh, that these batteries are gonna be putting in this base. So this will be outside. So once I'm done with the, the floor, I'm gonna build up the two by four walls. Everything is going to get insulated and uh, water sealed tight. And uh, so let's get to it. So we've got the floors, which are going to be uh, that one inch hemlock again. Uh, we're going to be cutting those into, cutting those to length, adding those onto the base of the floor. So let's get to it. So I finished putting the hemlock base on it, which is, or the hemlock floor, which this is now I've flipped it upside down. Uh, I've added two layers of R13 insulation because it's what I have. I'm hoping that it doubles up. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably look that up uh, when I'm done here. Um, but at any rate, there's two layers. So there's about six and a half, seven inches worth of, of insulation inside. Uh, what I'm working on now is just trying to cover this insulation with some scrap hemlock that I have uh, really to keep any rodents out. So uh, we're going to cut this up, uh, attach the, the base to this, and then flip this thing over and start on the walls. So we've got it all pieced together now, and now we're just gonna nail it all in. All right, so now this is the bottom, uh, and this will actually be attached to six by sixes that will run perpendicular to this box, and that's what the uh, whole battery bank is going to be sitting on so 
Let's put the walls in. So the way I'm building these walls is I've built the two long lengths uh, and I've cut all the, I've pre-cut all of the short sides. So I've, I'm going to install or attach the long walls and then I'll just build the short walls into place. So is this wood going to sit directly on the ground? No. What do you so this is going to sit on top of the six by sixes. Oh, that's right. You said that. You yeah. said that to me. Yeah. So we're going to attach these walls, these four, this side and that side. Now the six by sixes, are they going to still let some air underneath there? Oh yeah. They're going to go this way. Oh. So you're going to cut them to sit there? Yeah. And that's okay that there will be air underneath there? Oh yeah. There's oh. like eight inches of insulation underneath. Oh, so I could climb in that box and stay warm? You could if you wanted to, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. So my battery's low, so I'm going to go plug you in, and I'm going to keep plugging away on this guy. Alright, so battery's charged up, so we're back to filming. Uh, this is what the battery box looks like so far. Uh, we've got all four walls, and... The next step here is to start working on the foundation where we're going to be setting this big guy because there's going to be about a thousand pounds on it. We want to make sure that it is nice, flat, and sturdy. So this is the location uh, where we're going to be putting the battery bank. Uh, it is outside and uh, right next to the door uh, are all of the components will be inside the house. So this is kind of the best spot for it so what we're going to do now is we've got to level this out compact it a little bit and uh, get it in place
So we got the foundation flat and level. We put our six by six beams in, and now it's time for the batteries. Okay, so we are working on our last insulation panel and it'll go here and uh, then we'll be done with the insulation. Okay, so we've got all the insulation in. Uh, we are going to be siding this out, this out here. Uh, and then for the inside, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line the inside with some cardboard here. Uh, and the only purpose of that is really to act as a barrier between the insulation and the batteries so then we should be almost done okay so now that we have cardboard in it and the batteries are pretty much protected uh, for now uh, we are going to work on the outside and we're going to sheet it. Uh, what we're going to be doing is using some slab wood and overlapping it uh, to create a nice water tight seal. Now the corners are going to be an issue and we'll address those as I start sheeting it. But uh, we'll see what it looks like as we start going. All right, folks, we are back on the battery box build. Um, we're going to take the cover off and we're going to wrap it in black plastic. So we're wrapping it in plastic to, uh, as a barrier, uh, weather barrier. Um, we're going to be, uh, putting slab wood on, uh, kind of decor, make it look quite rustic. Um, but we got to get that plastic on first to help seal out all the water and weather. So we're not going to add any uh, staples to the sides because when I start adding the slab wood, that'll kind of hold that plastic in place. And with the slab wood, uh, we are going to be, I'm going to try to use this as a uh, weatherproofer. So they are going to overlap each other. 